going on, everybody? Hope y'all are doing well tonight. I have some great information to share with you. Got a great piece of feedback from a really great friend and awesome individual. He recommended I use a selfie stick and invest in a selfie stick. And I was like, man, I got, I was like, I got stuff to hold my phone. I'm just kind of lazy and try to put these videos out quick because I'm busy working and making sure I'm putting in my time where I need to. But want to share an awesome tip with you tonight about speed reading. And I'm using a summary of Christian doctrine just as an example book. This is actually something I learned from Tim Ferriss. If you don't know Tim, he's got a book called The 4-Hour Workweek, which is a pretty interesting read. He's got some good perspectives. And I've always been a bad reader. He was actually my lowest scores in my standardized testing, was my reading comprehension. And it wasn't that I was really a bad reader. I was just kind of slow. I had this internal voice in my head, and I would have to walk through all of the words. And for whatever reason, my whole life, I haven't liked reading, especially for pleasure. Like, I'm not a pleasure reader at all. I'm very, like, reading for practical purposes, whether it's the Bible or theological works or self-help works. Like, that's my cup of tea. I don't read, like, fantasy novels and stuff. If you do, that's fine. But did want to share... A couple things that have really helped me because I think if you can speed up your reading speed, you can add a ton of value wherever you go to any business. I mean, just answering emails. Just think about if you read four times faster. If you could just quadruple your reading speed right overnight. What value could you bring from that? How much quicker could you get you through your emails? You know, we get a ton. We're bombarded with information today. And if you can process that more quickly, how is that a bad thing? A long time, I thought that when you read a book, you have to like sit there and read every word, and you don't. So for those of you out there that are stressing out about how, oh man, I gotta read this book, I gotta get through it, I have this reading assignment, I gotta sit down and like read every word, no. You don't have to do that, that is not reading. You read for a benefit and read for a purpose. If, you're, if you enjoy it and you just want to read, that's fine. But if you're reading for a purpose, go into it very purposeful. So I'm going to share a couple tips with you that have really helped me. And honestly, like I've, I don't even know what my reading speed was to begin with. I, I played with some apps and tested it. But I've, I guarantee I've at least like 10 times and 10x my reading speed since I started this. So take a book that you're going to read. And just flip through it, literally, like, you don't have to stay on a page for more than, you know, a millisecond. Flip through it, see what you can pick up, see if there's major headings that you can pick up, see what sections there are, see where there's bold words, where there's bullets, where there's summaries of chapters, where any of the key information might be. Then take it, look at the table of contents. Have you ever read a table of contents? How many people out there watching this video have read a table of contents. Well, I have, I love the table of contents. It tells you what you're gonna be reading. So go to the table of contents, read through the table of contents, understand what you're looking for, understand those chapter titles, those points. What, what are the main points of what you're about to read? How many chapters are there? Are there subheadings or, you know, what, what is in there? So you go through the table of contents and then believe it or not, like if you watch a movie, you kind of enter this mind state where you're just absorbing information. And when you read, many individuals have this like internal voice kind of churning through their head, almost like someone's talking to you. And when you talk, like if you listen to an audio book, it's going to take you like eight hours or I don't know how long the book is, but you know, if someone's just talking word by word, it's going to take forever to get through that. But guess what? You can look at a movie screen and you can process a ton of information visually. And so that's what speed readers do. You see them, it almost looks like they're faking if you've ever seen a speed reader. They look at text and process it visually. They do not hear some internal voice in your head. So if you have that internal voice in your head, you need to turn it off. Look, at, look up speed reading apps, there's a bazillion of them. You can find speed reading apps to help you practice just visualizing words. You can increase the speed of the words popping up so you can just get used to visualizing words. And after you've been through that book a little bit, flip through it one way 
and you look through the table of contents, you can even flip the book upside down because visually your mind absorbs that information subconsciously. So flip through it upside down, just, it, it almost seems silly, I know, but look through it, see what you pick up. You might pick up something. People may look at you like you're crazy, that's okay. What did this take? Um, what's this video right now? Three minutes, four minutes, five minutes? It's nothing. All right, so you sat down with the book, blah, blah, blah. Now go through this book, turn off that internal voice, and do not worry about reading every word. Unless you have like some big test on it, or you know you have to know the information by heart, and you have to study it. If it's the Bible, for instance, you can't just like skim the Bible. You gotta dig in. There's times to skim through and get the big context, but there's also times to really dig in and understand what individual words and verses and research and pull out your commentaries. Like, there's always time for that, right? But if you're just reading to, okay, someone recommended me this book. What do I want to get out of it? You can do that in 30 minutes, an hour. It, it doesn't have to be some big ordeal. You do not have to read every word. You can flip through a book and get the gist of it pretty quick. So take that stress off yourself. If you want to learn, and every good leader is always constantly learning, absorbing new information, go through the book. There's also way more to speed reading than I just shared with you about eye movement and where you focus on the page. And if you try to focus on two points per line or one point per line and use your peripheral vision to visualize words as you move through, how do you move your eyes more quickly? There's all sorts of apps and things for training that, but I really think if you just approach it with a different approach, don't focus on reading every word, focus on reading with a purpose, go in intentionally, knowing what you want to get out of it, go through the table of contents, flip through the book and understand where all the points are. You can even go through, if chapters have summaries, I know some really great books that have summaries at the end of every chapter, just go read those. Just go read those. You don't have to sit and read the whole book. If one thing doesn't make sense to you or you don't think you get it, you can go back and look at the details. That's okay. But I wanted to share that with you. It's added a ton of value to me. You're able to get through a way lot more of information. But caveat, there's always a time to dig into the details and it can get you in trouble if there's something very detailed that you needed to look at that you don't. So make sure you always know what you're reading, you always assess what you're reading, and you know that it's something that you can skim through. And then take advantage of that opportunity to soak up whatever information you need and leave the rest. And don't stress about trying to read every word. That's my advice for the night. Hope that helps you leaders out there. Go lead everything. Ooh.